So whether you need a more complex system connected via a network switch that's fully software configurable, or you just need simple point-to-point in-room extension, for example, from the display and camera to the desktop hub, you can use SDVOE. So it really meets all those challenges that you need to extend cable for a bring your own meeting type scenario. The nice thing is too, is about SDVOE, it not only extends the audio and the video, but also USB and other control signals that you might have within the room, such as RS-232 or infrared control. Again, because it is standard 10 gigabit ethernet, we can benefit from the fact that the ethernet standard makes sure that performance is robust and guaranteed up to 100 meters of CAT6A cable. There's no degradation as the cable gets longer. There's no um, interference from electrical noise, EMI. This is a problem that really plagues other extension technologies that are out there in the market, and especially when you get to the long cable distances. And of course, being standard Ethernet, it supports power over Ethernet. Typically, that's supplied by the switch, but there's no reason why one endpoint can't be the power sending device powering a remote box on the other end of the cable using standard power over Ethernet. So this is what it looks like if you use two SDVOE endpoints. We have on the desktop or the tabletop, the AV hub where you connect in your laptop and it might have a couple of cables, one for HDMI, one for USB 2.0. And we can extend video up to 4K P60 444 resolution over a single CAT6A cable. Again, as I said, this is simultaneous transmission of not only audio and video, but other signals that you might want to connect. You might even want to connect in a network point to that device because maybe its Wi-Fi connectivity is not particularly good. You can do that by adding a gigabit ethernet port to that endpoint. It, as I said, we can send USB 2.0 and other signals. The power over ethernet is very, very important if you want to reduce clutter on the tabletop. You don't want to have to run a power supply in just for that little box that's going to sit on top of the table to connect your device. So power that over the CAT cable as well from the display AV hub. So really, this gives you a single cable, robust and reliable extension of audio video, the 2.0 that you need for your camera, and the power to make sure that there's no more additional cables on the tabletop. So let's get to USB-C. Why is this important for bring your own meetings? Well, you've probably seen that most of today's laptops and tablets, certainly if you have a nice Apple um, or, or a Surface or something like that, more and more they're using USB-C to provide universal connectivity for AV. And the way they do that is they use an advanced video and audio connectivity mode called display alternate mode, display port rather, alternate mode, DPL mode we'll call it from here. What DP Alt mode allows you to do is maintain backwards compatibility, still carrying USB 2.0, plus you can send DisplayPort signals from your laptop or tablet and provide device charging um, if, you, if you choose to, all over a single cable. So what's changed in this picture? My desktop hub has changed to just have a USB-C connector. No need for two cables, just the one. Let's see how this works. So in DisplayPort alternate mode, what happens is the DP only mode, they, they use the super speed USB 3.1 pins to transmit up to four lanes of DisplayPort 1.4. So depending on the image format, you know, if it's a lower resolution image format, you might only be using one of those lanes or pairs, that what I'm showing here. Or you could use two, you can use four, um, and with that, you also still have USB 2.0 connectivity, which is what you need to connect your USB camera, right? So it's a very, very flexible way of using USB-C in this alt DP mode. So what does that look like for inside the desktop AV hub? This can be pretty small. It can be, um, actually, if Martin over there can grab the, uh, the props, Actually, Melissa's going to grab it. We can show you exactly what this desktop hub can look like. It's got a USB-C connector. Perfect. Look at that. 
So this is a real example. There's your Ethernet connection for your extension, your cable extension. And this one actually has two USB-C ports. One's dedicated for charging and one's connecting your AV and USB traffic. No special drivers are required. This is just a plug and play box. When you plug in your laptop, you don't have to wait while it downloads a special driver for this specific product. We enable the USB 2.0 extension through the API Icron U Extreme USB, who's been a partner with us for many years and is part of the SDVUE Alliance. And that's used obviously to, to get the remote camera feed back to your device. We then have the Semtech Blue River AV processor, which is at the heart of this box. That basically concatenates all your signals, your um, HDMI, your USB, and any other control data, and sends that over standard 10 gig base T connectivity using Cat6A cable. And again, this can all be powered via PoE from the display AV hub. And you can also provide, as I showed on this box, the optional USB charging. Just to dig in a little more detail and really to show um, how this alliance works, we have other members in the alliance who provide technology to enable this. In this case, Kinetic Technologies, who's an alliance member, they provide chipsets for the USB-C port controller and for also the display to HDMI converter. One thing to take notice of here is Typically, if you go to their website, for example, you'll see the 5200 is the typical product that's used. They have the 5201, which is a specific product for SDVOE peripherals. So you, if you want to follow up with Kinetic Technologies, you'll need to talk to them directly about the 5201 if you want to build products to support this kind of connectivity. Let's look at the other end of the link. So you've got your ethernet cable coming in, in this case. Again, at the heart of it, we've got the uh, support for HD or 4K displays using HDMI. Again, we've paired with the extreme USB device to provide the seamless USB 2.0 connectivity. That supports your highest quality conferencing cameras, um, audio as well. Um, you can optionally provide analog audio outputs. The, the Blue River chip has that option. Um, that could be used to power some in-wall or in-ceiling speakers. Or you could simply use the HDMI output with embedded audio and use the speakers that are in the TV or display that you're using in the room. And again, this display hub designed as the PoE power sending equipment, the PSE. This allows you to remotely power that other box we were looking at that sat on top of the conferencing tabletop. So it removes the need for any additional power connectivity. As I showed you with this box, really sleek, no power connector, just a single cat connection. So to summarize, not only is SDVOE a flexible and versatile AV over IP technology, it's a perfect replacement for other point-to-point -point extension technologies. It can be used to replace HD base T, while at the same time prov providing much more robust performance. And it makes it ideal for advanced in-room products for things like BYOM. And it's really easy to augment SDVOE designs with USB-C to provide universal connectivity for BYOM solutions, which fully support the DisplayPort alt mode. That's everything, folks. Any questions?